Hello, everyone, and welcome to AWS reInvent. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. It is great to be back here with all of you at our 11th reInvent. And I'm happy to welcome over 50,000 customers and partners here in Las Vegas and over 300,000 attendees registered virtually around the world. It's amazing. We're also taking a leading stance in sustainability. Personally, to me, I think it's the issue of our generation. And Amazon is now the world's largest corporate purchaser of renewable energy. We're committed to powering our operations with 100% renewable energy by 2025, and we're already on target and over 85% of the way there. And we're also investing to... Please, everyone, get involved. It's a problem for all of us. And we're also innovating to improve our water use efficiency. And we're leading amongst cloud provider with an efficiency metric of 0.25 liters of water consumed per kilowatt hour in our data centers. And as we announced Sunday, we're committing to becoming water positive by 2030. That means we will return more water to our communities than we use in direct operations. Very excited about that. You may have noticed from the previous slide, if you're paying very close attention, that one of the analytics services is not like the others. Most have serverless options. But we have a single analytics service that doesn't yet have a serverless option. And many of you have been asking us, when can we get a serverless option for open search? Well, that time is now. And today we're announcing the preview of open search serverless. You can use this platform to perform interactive analytics, real-time application monitoring, website search, and more without having to worry about provisioning, configuring, and scaling infrastructure. Now we have serverless options for all of our analytics services, and no one else can say that. So today, I'm excited to announce the preview of a fully managed new zero ETL integration between Aurora and Redshift. This integration brings together transactional data with analytics capabilities, eliminating all of the work of building and managing custom data pipelines between Aurora and Redshift. It's incredibly easy. You just choose the Aurora tables combining the, containing the data that you want. In order to get that into Redshift, it appears within seconds. After it comes into Aurora, seconds later, the data is seamlessly made available inside of Redshift. And you can replicate data from multiple Aurora databases in the same Redshift instance. The data in Redshift is always consistent and updates are automatically and continuously propagated. So you have the most recent information in near real time. And of course, the entire system is serverless and dynamically scales up and down based on the data volume so there's no infrastructure to manage. Now you really have the best of both worlds, fast scalable transactions in Aurora together with scalable analytics and Redshift, all in one seamless system. This newest integration helps solve one of the biggest ETL pain points for our customers. And I'm really excited to introduce Amazon Redshift integration for Apache Spark. Now it's incredibly easy to run Apache Spark applications on Redshift data from AWS Analytics Services. You can use simple Spark jobs or Jupyter notebooks in AWS services like EMR, Glue, and SageMaker to connect to Redshift and to run read-write queries against Redshift tables. Now, no more need to move any data, no need to build or manage any connectors. Today, I am very happy to announce Amazon DataZone, a data management service that helps catalog, discover, share, and govern data across your organization. DataZone enables you to set data free throughout the organization safely by making it easy for admins and data stewards to manage and govern access to data. And it makes it easy for data engineers, data scientists, product managers, analysts, and other business users to discover, use, and collaborate around that data to drive insights for your businesses. So today, I'm really happy to announce ML-powered forecasting with Q. 
With forecasting in Q, a business user looking at a dashboard can simply ask Q to forecast a metric into the future. For example, you could ask Q to forecast sales for the next 12 months and get an immediate response which considers seasonality, anomalies, and outliers to form the best forecast. We've also added why questions in Q, so you can dig deep and understand past events and trends that impact the forecast. So today, I'm really pleased to announce a new capability of guard duty that adds container runtime threat detection. Now guard duty will help detect threats from software running inside your container by monitoring operating system level behavior in the container itself, such as file access, process execution, and network connections. It can detect an attempt to access underlying compute nodes and obtain an instance uh, credentials, or identify a container that's trying to communicate with a malicious actor's command and control server. I'm absolutely thrilled to announce the preview of Amazon Security Lake. <laughs> Security Lake is a data lake that makes it easy for security teams to automatically collect, to combine, and to analyze security, security data at petabyte scale. La yesterday, last night, Peter DeSantis announced the new C7GN instance, powered by Graviton3, which has over 200 gigabits per second network bandwidth and up to 50% higher packet processing over existing network optimized instances. This makes C7GN ideal for network intense workloads and uh, things like analytics, databases, and network appliances. I'm excited to announce the preview of our INF2 instance powered by our new Inferentia 2 chip. Customers can deploy a 175 billion parameter model for inference on a single INF2 instance with four times higher throughput and one-tenth the latency of INF1 instances. We're announcing the new HPC 6ID instances. 6ID, 6ID instances are designed to deliver leading price performance for data and memory intensive HPC workloads with higher memory bandwidth per core faster local SSD storage, and enhanced networking with Elastic Fabric Adapter. With 6A, 7G, and 6ID, AWS offers HPC instances with the best price performance for each of your specific workloads. So today, I'm very excited to announce AWS SimSpace Weaver, a new managed service for running large-scale spatial simulations. With SimSpace Weaver, you can run large-scale simulations without being constrained by a single piece of hardware or having to manage the underlying compute, memory, or networking infrastructure. And this means that developers can spend more time building and understanding their simulations and less time deploying and scaling them. First, we're introducing new forecasting, capacity planning, and scheduling capabilities to help contact center managers very helpful to help them optimize agent schedules and ensure that they have the right agents at the right time. Second, we're previewing new agent performance management capabilities in contact lens, connect real-time analytics. These reduce the time the contact center and managers spend identifying performance issues and, and, uh, and helping to coach agents. And third is a new user interface that guides, customer, uh, guides agents through customer interactions so they can resolve issues even faster. <laughs> Connect is a great example of how the cloud is removing constraints to reimagine business challenges like delivering better customer service. AWS Clean Rooms is a new service that helps companies and their business partners to securely analyze and collaborate on data sets without sharing or revealing the underlying data. And that's why today I'm very excited to announce the general availability of Amazon Omics. <laughs> Omics is a purpose-built service to store, query, analyze, and generate insights from genomic and other Omics data. How many times have you ever been in a crowded store and the line to pay is so long that you just want to bail? Have you ever thought to yourself, Wow, I wish I could just walk out. 
and now you can. A few years ago, a few years ago, a group of Amazonians started thinking about how they could make the store experience better. And with a combination of computer vision, sensor data, and deep learning, Just Walk Out technology by Amazon was born. With Just Walk Out technology, a customer can scan their phone when they walk into a store, take what they want, and leave. No standing in lines to check out anymore. But we didn't stop there. We started thinking about the other places where you have to stand in line. So waiting in line to get into a stadium or badging into work. Remember that, badging into work? So this led to Amazon One, a new simple way to identify, enter, and pay with your palm. Yep, your palm. To identify yourself and automatically pay so you can just walk out. Now, you don't even need your phone. You can buy an item or enter a venue with just a wave of your palm. So we've just gone through a few of the examples of how customers are reimagining entire industries and business functions using purpose-built solutions on AWS. They're driving such momentum in this area, we're going to continue to innovate even more here going forward. Thank you so much to everyone watching. And of course, a big thank you to my guests on stage, and a big thank you to the whole AWS team for making this entire week and today possible. We have an amazing reInvent for you this year, so please go out there and explore it. Thank you.